Hello guys, welcome back para sa panibago na naman nating mga tutorial video. So, yung topic natin ngayon is solving rational equation. Okay? So, first step sa pag-solve ng rational equation is uh, kailangan ma-eliminate muna natin yung mga denominator. Okay? So, may kita nyo yung denominator natin is x plus 1 and 3. So, para ma-ansal yan, mag-multiply lang tayo ng x plus 1 times 3 both sides ng equation. Okay? Okay? So, multiply lang tayo ng x plus 1 times 3. Okay? Okay? So now, dito sa left side natin, cancel na yung x plus 1. So, matitira is 3 times 4 na lang. That is 24. And dito naman sa may right side natin, cancel naman yung 3. So, matitira is 4 times x plus 1. Okay? So, na-cancel na natin yung mga denominator. So, next step, simplify lang natin. Distribute natin si 4. So, 4 times x, that's 4x. 4 times 1, that's 4. Then, lipat natin sa kabila si itong 4x. So, negative 4x is equal to positive 4. Ipat din natin yung 24 sa kami na may hindi negative 24. So, negative 4x is equal to 4 minus 24, negative 20. Then, divide tayo ng negative 4 both sides. Okay? So, cancel yung negative 4. X na lang matitira. Negative 20 divided by negative 4. That is positive 5. So, therefore, x is equal to 5. Okay? And then, Next step niyan, uh, i-check mo pa siya, okay? Kung uh, hindi ba siya extraneous roots. Okay? Kasi meron din tayong uh, extraneous roots. Pwede siyang maging undefined yung ating rational equation. So yung original na equation natin is x of 8 over x plus 1 is equal to 4 over 3. So check natin, substitute natin si substitute natin si 5 kung magiging undefined ba yung equation natin. So 8 over 5 plus 1 is equal to 4 over 3. Okay? So, hindi na natin kailangan i-simplify ito kung equal ba siya. So, check mo lang yung denominator kung magiging 0 ba siya. So, hindi naman siya magiging 0. 5 plus 1, magiging 6 siya. Okay? So, pag i-simplify mo pa yan, may kita mo equal itong dalawang ito. Okay? So, then, hindi naman siya magiging undefined. So, ito na yung solution natin. Okay? So, actually, meron tong shortcut nyo. Pag ganito yung pinapasold sa inyo. So, gagawin mo lang dito para mas mabilis is cross multiplication. Okay? Pag ganito yung uh, rational equation mo, dalawang term lang. Okay? So, gagawin mo lang uh, cross multiplication lang. Multiply mo to dito and then dito multiply mo sa kapitan. So, 3 times 8, that is 24, is equal to uh, x plus 1 times 4. Okay? Shortcut siya. So, may kita nyo, ito, ito na yun. Oh. Okay? So, swabilis siya. And then, yung next step na yan, ito na. And then, hanggang sa masolve mo na yung x. Okay? And for example number 2 natin, solve the rational equation, 20 over x minus 20 over x minus 2 is equal to 4 over x. So again, first step, kailangan ma-eliminate natin yung mga denominator muna. So, yung denominator natin is x and x minus 2. So, mag-multiply lang tayo ng x times x minus 2, both sides ng equation, para ma-answer itong mga denominator natin. Okay? So, maraming ways no, yung pag-solve ng rational equation. So, yung tinuturo ko lang sa inyo, yung para sa akin, pinakamadaling method. Okay? So, multiply natin. Uh, x minus 2 times x. So, multiply din tayo sa kabila. x minus 2 times x. Okay? So, itong minamultiply natin na x minus 2 times x, ito yung actually yung uh, LCD ng ating mga rational uh, expressions. Okay? So, now, distribute natin siya. So, dito muna natin i-multiply. Uh, x minus 2 times x times 20 over x. So, mangyari, makakancel tong x. So, matitira is x minus 2 times 3. Okay? 
Then, dito naman, so, i-distribute natin siya, no? So, minus x minus 2 times x times 20 over x minus 2. So, yung mga cancel naman is yung x minus 2 naman. So, matitira is x times 20. Okay? Then, dito sa kabila, 4 over x times x minus 2 times x, mga cancel naman yung x dito. So, matitira is 4 times x minus 2. Okay. Then, simplify lang natin. So, distribute natin itong 20. 20 times, 20 times x, 20x. 20, 20 times negative 2, negative 40. Minus 20 times x, 20x. Equal to 4 times x, that is 4x. Uh, 4 times negative 2, negative 8. Okay. So, dito, Sa left side natin, makakansel na ito, no? 20 minus 20, 20x minus 20x. So, 0 na siya. Lipat natin itong negative 40 sa kabila. So, magiging positive 40 siya. And then, itong 4x, lipat naman natin dito. So, magiging negative 4x naman siya. Then, copy lang natin itong minus 8. Okay? So, yung 40 nilipat natin dito, naging positive. Yung 4x, naging negative. Okay? Copy lang si negative. And then, simplify lang natin. So, negative 4x, 40 minus 8, that is uh, 32. And then, divide lang tayo ng negative 4. Para x na lang yung matira. So, cancel yung negative 4, x is equal to 32 divided by negative 4. That is negative 8. Okay. So, ito na yung nakuha natin solution. Pero, check muna natin siya kasi pwede siyang maging extraneous root. So, ibig sabihin, Pag sinubstitute natin siya, magiging undefined yung rational equation natin. Okay, so check muna natin. So yung original equation natin is 20 over x minus 20 over x minus 2 is equal to 4 over x. Okay? So substitute natin yung negative 8 sa x kung magiging undefined na siya. So 20 over negative 8 minus 20 over negative 8 minus 2 is equal to 4 over negative 8. So, hindi mo na kailangan i-simplify ito, no? Yung kailangan mo lang tignan dito, dapat hindi maging 0 yung denominator. So, wala namang 0 dito, no? Negative 8, negative 8. Then ito, negative 8 minus 2, negative 10. So, hindi siya magiging undefined pag sinubstitute natin yung negative 8 sa ating rational equation. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya extraneous roots, okay? So, solution siya. Okay? Ngayon, pag sinabi natin extraneous roots, ito yung solution na pag sinubstitute mo siya dito, magiging undefined yung uh, rational fun, rational equation. Magiging zero yung denominator. Okay? So, comment below guys kung nakatuloy. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video.